Hey guys, Alex here with a tutorial requested by a YouTube user. And what he wanted to know was how to mask layers on a moving object. Now, if you don't know what masking layers is, uh, just click on the video and it'll take you to one of my tutorials. And I'll explain, explain uh, what masking layers is. So, let's get started. So what I want to do is, actually here I have an image and it's moving from uh, right to left and I want to color this little um, glow thing right here and let me show you how to kind of um, change the color of it while it's moving. moving. So let's do this. So what I want to do is insert a video track and then Duplicate, duplicate the the video you want to mask. So just copy, paste. And make sure the video is directly above the video, uh, of it, on top of each other. So and so I want to apply a uh, blur, a uh, Gaussian blur over a specific area of the image. So. I'm just going to apply it on the top track. And I only want the blur to be covering the, uh, let's say, the head. And it's basically covering the whole entire video. So I want to change that. So you open your event pan crop window. Click on your masking option. Zoom in. You want to select your anchor creation tool. And you want to mask around the uh, specific area area you want to apply a layer to. And it's not perfect, but fair. And you see the blur only applies to the um, top part of the video, and the rest is all. Uh, the rest is all not to no effect on the rest of the video. But as you see as the image moves, you see the blur doesn't go along with the image. So that's basically um, what you want to do is of course mask the layer while it's moving. So you have to open your window up. And then go to the next frame and you see how you drag this cursor over. The video starts moving and the uh, map just stays in one place. So go to the next frame. And what you want to do is delete this map on the next frame. If you can't do it on the first frame, you have to go on to the next frame. And then you you um, kind of uh, cut out your shape again, and then go to the next frame, and then so on and so forth. So basically, you have to mask probably every frame, skip a couple of frames, but it'll look really bad. So you kind of want to mask every frame. Uh, it does take a long time, but in the end, it's really worthwhile. So. That's how you mask a layer. Uh, if you want any other tutorials, uh, if you want any other tutorials, you can request them either by asking in the comments or just sending me a message. I'll see you guys next time.